so hi guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video tutorial we will learn how to create this awesome login screen login app and uh, set this submit button, submit button to disable and when we enter this login credential then this submit button will be enabled so now you can able to see uh, this submit button is disabled and when we when we enter login credential as username as bound to html bound to html and password as 1 2 3 4 the submit button will be release and now you can able to see this toast message as bound to html and when we enter and when we and when we does not enter one of the login credential it will display and it was like all credit all credentials are required so now let's get started first of all i am remo removing this app and creating a new project log in next 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 finish i am closing this uh, previous vi uh, window So first of all go to the res folder then go to the values go to the style.xml and change this dark action bar to no action bar so it will hide our action bar go to the activity underscore mail uh, main xml file remove this hello world text view and and enter text as login text size 30 point width match parent sorry we have to use layout width match parent and layout height wrap content i am using font font family uh, font family as cursive and text alignment to center and I am adding constraint to this and changing text color to gray shade I am using B8 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 as a gray shade for that then after adding text view we need, we need to add edit text edit text width is 140 point and I am using height as a wrap content 140 wrap content and we need to add hint enter username then we need to add 
text color for that I am using same color for that B8 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 that is gray shade and hint text hint color for text hint color I am using same text hint color that is B8 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 and adding constraint to this After adding, uh, we need to change this ID to ID text to username, and we need to add one ID text for password. One forty point, and height as wrap content. ID, ID as password. and we need to use on this we need to use same properties for password and i am changing the hint to enter username to use enter password now add constraint to this so after adding edit text for password we need to add submit button button 140 pt and wrap content id add submit text submit text color as i am using white color for that f f f and background i am using same gray shade color for that b8 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 Sorry, we need to use capital B, B8, B8, B8. Align this button to center and add constraint for button. After adding constraint, we need to set disable this button. So set uh, enable Android enable false. So it is false. by its nature after doing this we need to declare the variables in main activity dot java file so i am using private private button private button submit private edit text username comma password after declaring this we need to do find view by id submit equal to find view by id r dot id dot submit then username equal to find view by id r dot id dot username and password equal to find view by id r dot id dot password after doing this we need to use text watcher so uh, for for our edit text so out of this curly braces we need uh, to type text watcher we need to use text watcher class i am using text and create a variable text watcher and equal to new text watcher and it has three methods before text change on text change and after text change so before text change i am declaring submit button as set 
enable as false before text change on text change i am declaring submit dot set enable as true uh, so we need to add uh, this text watcher to this to edit text so i am declaring here as uh, username dot add text change listener we need to use this method add text change listener and we need to pass this text watcher variable text watcher object or variable in this curly in this bracket this is then password dot add text change listener same thing do the same thing and inside this and when we click on the submit dot uh, we need to add, add we need to add set on click listener equal to new view dot on click listener i'm using string for capturing the text that is that is entered by the user uh, username dot get text dot to string and i am using trim method to remove the white spaces from before and after the text string pass equal to uh, password dot get text dot to string dot trim and now i am checking if name one dot is empty or pass dot is empty if one of them is empty so now uh, if one of them is empty so we are displaying message that uh, toast by using toast component toast dot message that uh, we need to enter all login credentials this dot enter all login credentials and third para parameter is our toast dot length long length short uh, so we here we need here we need to use main activity dot this and if both fields are filled by the user so we are displaying that the login uh, username of the user username sorry we need to use name name one so here uh, the error is raised we need to add semicolon over here and we need to change this green color so go to the colors.xml file uh, changes uh, change this color to i am using gray shade that is b8 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 and i am doing the same process for all rem uh, remaining colors b8 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 so let's run this app and check whether it is properly working or not
So this is the app. So you can able to see this is the submit button is by default disable. When I enter login credentials and password as so I forget to add input text bond one two three. So now you can able to see this is our uh, so our submit button is now now enable and our bond uh, you can able to see this bond to a HTML username and when I remove one of this login credential so let's check what happened so now it's showing enter all login credential toast message so our app is successful enter all login credential uh, we need go to the android main activity file we need to add input type for password input type equal to number so let's run this So let's check it. So now you can able to see the input type is changed to the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And enter all login credentials. So if you like my like this video, please subscribe my channel and give like, share, comment and drop a comment in comment box thanks for watching stay tuned for all new updates thank you